Good people, good vibes, good vintage. Good, uh, best burgers. Bacon wrapped dogs. A lot of sun fades. A lot of sun fades. The Rose Bowl. Toga Western boots, uh, some trousers, if you will, tank top, gotta show the muscles. So we've been at the Rose Bowl for about two hours. What do you think, Fernando? I wanna leave. What do you think of the Rose Bowl so far? Really not the same. Well, one is really hot, and then I just feel like this is the problem. Yeah, and that's my analysis. Be a little too short. Fucking oh, banger pair. The swollen. Ooh, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Over at Jacove, we've been working on a couple new products that will be coming out alongside with this video. So in this segment, I'm gonna show them to you and go over them and talk about them. The first item is the hanging pocket cargo short. This is an idea or concept I've been playing around with for a while and I'm really happy with how the short version actually came out. These shorts are made of a 50% nylon, 50% cotton fabric with a matte finish and light sheen to it. It's been coated so it has increased stiffness but compared to like the shell pants, it's a little bit less stiff and a little bit more smooth to the touch. And the main reason for that is that these were actually washed after production so they come with the fabric and seams kind of pre-broken in. Talking about the design, they have two flat pockets that hang down below the hem. These pockets are paneled in and they are 3D, but they're pinched flat on the bottom. The flap is reinforced so it won't crinkle or get bent over time. And right above the flat pocket are two hidden zipper compartments with YKK zippers. On top, these shorts have slash pockets and coin pockets, metal coated buttons on the fly, and all the zipper aglets and drawstrings are heat sealed. The crotch or bottom of the short is gusseted so there's a panel in between your legs which I think makes them fit a lot better and it prevents onlookers from seeing up your leg when you're sitting in them. The back of the short has a yoke and flat pockets and these shorts are about a 20 inch length so they're definitely not short shorts but they're not super drop crotch or long line either. A lot of attention has been put into all the construction and the sewing to make sure they're made correctly and that they'll hold up over time and I think from the construction, the design, the material, everything about them came together really nicely and they feel like a high quality short. Alongside with the short we're releasing the object dyed cap which is the same hat we already released with this object dyed finish. It's made of 100% cotton and it's been dyed to this deep gray color, which has a lot of nice highs and lows and fading all throughout. The fabric itself is a medium weight and it has a really dry hand feel. The hat itself is a seven panel construction with a cutout on the brim, a zipper compartment on the top, an adjustable polyester strap on the back with a plastic slip lock. And it also has a logo on the front, but it's kind of been faded away. The inside seams are taped and on on the inside, you can really see how the dye took differently to all the different materials. We're about to go shoot the photos for both of these tomorrow, so let's cut to that.
West Coast Customs, doing the cars and coffee. I didn't, I didn't know people would actually show up, but they're here. Mr. Beast came, there's tons of crazy whips. I'm very honored and blessed to be here. It's a beautiful day, you know? What more can I say? Loving it. The car is so sick, so sick. Have a nice day today. Big ass shorts, big ass shoes. Since the last video, I've gotten a couple new pickups. So I wanted to run through them with you guys. And the first item, is a pair of Rick Owen shorts. These are the Rick Owens Bella Cargos in ripstop nylon. These were sitting on Grailed for about a third or fourth of retail, and I decided to pull the trigger on them, and I've actually been really happy with them, and I've been wearing them a lot. They're made of this greenish gray, borderline translucent polyamide with a black grid pattern all throughout. In most lights, it's completely opaque, and you can't see through it, but in some lights you can, which allows you to see all the pocketing and the seam details on the inside, giving these shorts a lot of depth compared to just the cotton version. The design itself features two cargo pockets on each side, an exposed front zipper fly, two welt pockets on the top, and rivets and eyelets embellishing the pockets and the zipper. On the back, there are two welt pockets, and these shorts fit at about knee length. Going back to the fabric, they're super lightweight and breathable, and when you touch the shorts, they have a nice crinkly, unique texture. The one complaint I have about these shorts and the black ribstop version I have is that the snaps are a little bit loud. When you don't have them snap, they make a little clink chime, but maybe that's just a way to let you know that your pockets aren't snapped. Rick Owens Bella Cargo in gray polyamide. The next item is a hoodie from Carhartt. This is a sleeve printed Carhartt hoodie and somehow I ended up with two of them. One of them is from Jeremiah, one of them is from Unsound Rags. The Unsound Rags one is a little bit better, sorry Jeremiah, but essentially this is a standard fitting Carhartt hoodie. I'm pretty sure you could buy this hoodie to date at Walmart. I'm guessing it's from like 2010, it has a very traditional fit. I'm guessing it's about a 28 inch length. The shoulders are not dropped, but it has a really cool kind of cracked, faded Carhartt print on the sleeve. This one has some nice paint stains and fading. Another cool detail is that the seams in the hood are covered with some bias tape. Carhartt Walmart hoodie. The final item is another accessory. This one I got a couple months ago, but I thought I might as well show you since my pickups are a little bit dry. This is a Benchmade Osborne. I received this as a gift and it's become a knife that I use quite a bit. It has an aluminum handle with a matte olive finish on it. All the hardware is in black and when you push the button, the knife ejects from the handle. It has a little lock mechanism on the back. And yeah, it's a really cool knife. It's made really well. I don't know if it's legal to carry it, but it's good for opening packages. Those have been all of my new pickups. Let's continue with the video. Fernando has been doing a thing called Unsound Personals with all the members of Unsound, where he basically showcases their personal wardrobes and all the stuff that they've been wearing. He asked me to do one, so I'm bringing a bunch of stuff to the office to be shot. We're gonna be botanically dying. A hoodie from ground cover. I guess it has a dye guide. 
for how you're supposed to botanically dye it. Not sure what that means. I thought botanical was like on a boat. And we're going to do the tea dye. We wait for the tea to simmer, then we'll add the hoodie. The only spoon we have. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes, just like the dye guide said. We're gonna add the hoodie. Yeah. All right, now it's gonna be prime. Trying to extract it. And there you have it. I'm liking the color. Kind of looks like a butterfinger. Maybe it's, I put too much root beer. It's been a few days and the dye has set on the ground cover hoodie. Because we were moving, we had to transport this hoodie in a bag as it was drying, which gave it this unique inconsistent dye. I was thinking of possibly dyeing it a second time to give it a more even color, but either way, the color itself came out really beautiful and it was a relatively easy process. Massive thank you to Avery and ground cover. and I decided to bring back with me this 1980s Vietnam wet jacket. It has some really cool fading and it's made of a synthetic material. All the seams are taped and it has a brim built into the hood. If you're interested in anything that Rashawn showed, it is for sale and I'll put his at on the screen. Vintage by Lana. What's this? A stink bomb. Can I break it? No, not in here. Mmm. So this is a sample jacket we made for Unsound. It's an oversized, like, standard MA1 bomber jacket done in terry instead of cotton twill. So this is version two, made out of vintage sweatshirts, but because of the nature of the fabric, it stretches odd. It's too difficult to, like, ever produce that. So we have to use new fabric. We just did one side with less patchwork in black. And the reverse side is charcoal black. Yeah, so Ty stole these shorts from me two so, years ago. So, Jacob has short-term memory loss, and every time he sees me wearing these, he says, No way! You have those? But he's asked me about these at least five times since he gave them to me. Damn, bro, they're kind of hard. They fit you better than they fit me, though. out of business. No, we're, we're moving. 
moving across country, do something similar in New York. Nick's gonna drive this truck across the country and I'm gonna fly. This was a pop-up, it was originally three months. We ended up staying closer to four or five months, but now like they're finally gonna renovate. So we gotta leave and we're going to New York and see what happens there. If anyone wants to buy an air hockey table in the next day, hit me up. looks cool interesting shot right there <laughs> so basically i'm hanging up some personal tees that i want to get rid of and then after this i gotta go do laundry what i will say about your last video i was kind of like the fucking guy with aids at the end we're on our way to the laundromat about to go wash all the dirty cum rags and yeah get ready for the market for tomorrow If you're ever at a red light or like an orange light and you're about to run it, just fucking run it. They're not allowed to give you a ticket off a of photo. So start running lights, guys. Don't cheap out on detergent. Use name brand. Don't fucking play yourself. All right, this is a real life hack. Get that Dollar Tree fucking detergent and you pour it in the expensive one. Thanks for letting us follow along uh -huh. with the process. I feel that. Got any future plans, any PSAs, any statements? Coming up very soon. Um, nah, I'm just fucking, I ain't got nothing wrong. It's 2 a.m., gotta get some water. Don't expose our fridge. Drinking some beers, only the best. We're moving out in three hours. We still have a bit more packing to go. I don't know, man. I probably look really, really rough. Trevor's about to move to New York. For four months. For four months. So we have to leave this apartment. Sad day. What's gang, YouTube? You're like uncomfortable saying it, but you did it anyway. And everyone was like, fuck this kid. They were just- What's like, gang, YouTube? Yeah, so basically, <sighs> Trevor's going to New York for four months, possibly longer, probably forever. I'd like to walk around in your mind someday. I'd like to walk all over the things you say to me. I'd like to run and jump on your Goodbye.